The Australian government is refusing to relent on its decision to keep the country's border closed to almost all international travel until the middle of next year. A decision that's drawing increased criticism from business and industry groups, as well as members of the Prime Minister's own party. Most flights have been for Australians returning from abroad. About 9,000 are trying to return from India alone. But the first flight back on Saturday was half empty because so many had tested positive. This was Prime Minister Scott Morrison's response. I've seen the suggestion from others that who seem to think we can put people who have tested COVID poverty on planes and bring them to Australia. I mean, that's, that just doesn't make any sense. And, and I'm, I'm, we all want to support people as much as we can, but by importing COVID into the country, I don't think that's a very sensible or sound thing to do. Um, the, this sort of testing is, is required uh, from all places where people are coming from into Australia, whether it's in the UK or elsewhere. And of course, it's, it's important in India. And we've seen those high testing rates and uh, that's frankly why we took the action we did, because the risk was very, very high. Australia's had one of the world's most successful efforts at fighting the disease. About 900 deaths and only 30,000 confirmed infections since the start of the pandemic. It's credited its border closure, swift contract tracing, and the public's compliance with social distancing measures. It also has a travel bubble with New Zealand, which also has very low infection rates.